In the world of money, it's not only summing and counting and calculating the average that is important, but from time to time you might need another calculation, which is the product, multiplying the amounts. Let's imagine that we have got the following return rates and you have 100 euros. To calculate how many euros you will reach at the end of the year 2014, you need to multiply the numbers in here. So your amount multiplied by the return rate. And at the end of the uh, all of the periods, you will get 197 uh, euro. For this kind of financial scenarios, you might find it useful to insert a pivot table and calculate the return rate not as a sum, not as an average, but as a product, which is another calculation available in here. And as you can see, at the end of all of the periods, we will get the compound uh, return rate. If instead of placing the year on a row shelf, uh, you will insert year on a slicer or on a filter uh, shelf, you might control better the behavior of your uh, return rate. This is the return rate after just the first year. This is the compound rate after two years, after three years and after all of the years.